Hi there, everybody. Welcome again to Z Code Sports System. Here we developed automated system to help you win big every time. Doesn't matter what sport you're betting on, we've got you covered. Okay, so before we get into some action for April the 20, um, let's see, that's Monday, April 24th, I want to invite you to join so you have access to the VIP club section. And you see it has all these tools here to help you make your picks. Okay, so we're going to get into six of the 11 games for this day. So I'm going to get started here. If we scroll down through, we see the first one we're going to take a look at is Baltimore hosting Boston. In this AL East matchup, you see Baltimore comes in burning hot. They are 3-0 in their last three and 5-1 and one over their last six. Boston, you can see, has lost two over their last three and 4-2 and two over their last six. Baltimore comes in burning hot versus average. And on the power ranks indicator, you can see an upward trend for both teams. Baltimore at plus 20, Boston at plus 16. If you notice in the over under, Baltimore under in their last two, but four over and two under in their last six, and the same with Boston. So the teams have been trending in games over the line, if you see this. And the score prediction of seven to five in favor of Baltimore with a confidence of 54%, that would probably be an over, although the line has not yet been set. If you look at the head to head matchups for this season, you can see here that uh, first three games were in Boston, and Boston won two of the three. If you take a look at the stability factor, you can see that both teams have been pretty consistent with regard to their favorite underdog stats, both at plus five. So in the end, though, I like Baltimore. I think this is a Baltimore game uh, in a game going over the line. Okay, Houston and Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay starting off burning hot. Uh, they have won their last two, three out of their last four, and three and three over their last six. While Houston is average at the moment, they have alternated wins and losses over their last six games. If you take a look at the over-under, Tampa Bay four over and two under, and Houston five over and one under. Okay, so let's take a look at the power ranks indicator chart. You can see here that Tampa was up at the top, but after a little bit of a recent uh, inconsistent uh, stretch where they were three and three, they dropped to plus 14, and now they're at uh, what are they, plus 13 now. While Houston has been up and down for the majority of the season, they are now at plus 18. Head to head, this is the first matchup between the teams this season. The score predictor has Tampa Bay by a 6 to 3 margin with a confidence in prediction of about 55%. The teams have been on opposite ends here as a consistency. Uh, factor here as far as stability. Tampa Bay very stable at plus 12 while Houston has been very inconsistent and they are at minus one. In the end though I like Tampa Bay but I'm going to pass on the over under. The next one you want to look at is Miami and Atlanta. In this NL East battle the Braves come in burning hot down. You can see they're five and one over the last six coming off of a one nothing loss to uh, San Diego. While Miami is coming off from a loss also, but they are 4-2 and two over their last six, and they are average. If you notice the over-under, the teams have been trending on opposite sides of that. Uh, Miami, uh, two over and one under in their last three, but four under in the last six, while Atlanta has been involved in games over the line of four out of their last six. The score predictor has Atlanta by a 6-3 score, but you see the confidence of predictions pretty good, not in real high, but pretty good at 65%. Uh, on the power ranks indicated, you can see an upward trend for Atlanta. They're now at plus 29, while Miami has been up and down. They were at 29 back on April the 16th, and they are now coming in at plus 25. If you look at the head-to-head -head matchups, the teams have not yet met this season. Uh, stability factor, Miami has been... Pretty inconsistent of late. They were at plus three back on April the 8th, and now they are at zero. While my uh, while Atlanta has been on an upward trend as far as uh, stability factor goes, at plus six, they have been very stable, very consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. So um, in the end, here I like the Braves in a game going under the line. Uh, Detroit, Milwaukee. We'll look at New York and Minnesota. Uh, so Yankees and the Twins, both teams average stats at the moment, and both teams three and three over their last six. New York has been involved in games under the line. You've seen five out of their last six, and Minnesota under the line in three out of their last six. You can see here by the scores, um, for the Yankees, 3-2, 5-2, 2-0, 6-1. See a lot of very low-scoring games there. And the score predictor has 
New York 7, Minnesota 1, but a very low level of confidence. If you see this here, 17%. So take a look at that later on. Uh, power ranks indicator up and downward trend for the Yankees. They peaked at plus 22 on April the 18th, and they are now at plus 12. While Minnesota is hovering around the plus 8 range. They were at plus 9 just two days ago, and now are at plus 8. The stability factor, you can see how consistent they are. Uh, Minnesota plus 6 compared to New York, New York plus 5. So Minnesota more stable with regard to their favorite underdog status. In the end, I like the Twins at home, but I would pass on the over-under bet in that one as well. Okay, and this game here between the Royals and the Diamondbacks, you see here the Royals come in dead status. They have lost their last six. Arizona average down three and three over their last six. Um, if you look at the over-under, Kansas City over the line five out of their last six games. Arizona over in, th in their last three games. So it's a good uh, possibility this game would also trend over. And the score prediction is thinking along the same lines. If you see this score prediction of 10-4 to 4 with Arizona winning the game, that's 14 runs. That would be an over. And the confidence in the prediction is pretty high at 72%. If you take a look at the power ranks indicator, clear uh, difference between the teams. Arizona on the upward trend at plus 28. While Kansas City is slightly upward, but they were down to zero on, on April the 16th. And they're just now at plus three. Head-to-head -head wise, you see the two teams uh, met in preseason. But that doesn't really uh, bear into our consideration for the prediction of this game. If you look at the volatility oscillator, you can see that Kansas City is plus 9, Arizona is minus 2, which means that Kansas City is much more consistent with regard to their favorite underdog status. Now, I haven't mentioned this earlier, but you might want to take a look at the pitcher profit oscillator when the time comes. Uh, take a look back closer to the game. You'll see which pitchers are scheduled to throw. And you'll take a look at this. And it'll give you an idea uh, which pitcher is the better bet. Right now, the pitchers have not yet been named for this game. So in the end here, I like Arizona in this game, and I will pick this one over the line. Okay, the last one we want to look at is St. Louis and San Francisco. Neither team is playing exceptional as of late. Uh, the Cardinals loses of two out of the last three, while San Francisco is one and five over the last six. Dead up status for San Francisco and average for the Cardinals. But the one thing you might want to take notice of is that the teams have been involved in games over the line. Both five out of the last six games have been over. The score prediction is leaning towards the under, though, with St. Louis 7, San Francisco 0. But the confidence in the prediction right now is only 58%. So take a look at that closer to the game time, see if the score has changed, and see if the confidence has gone higher. On the power ranks indicator, not much of a surprise with San Francisco being down at the bottom at plus 1. St. Louis has been on an up and downward trend. You can see plus 12 on the 16th, up to plus 22 a day later, and now down to plus 10. The consistency factor, neither team has been extremely stable with regard to their favorite underdog status. Uh, St. Louis is a little bit more stable at plus two. San Francisco, very inconsistent at minus one. They were up at plus one as a, as a peak earlier in the season, and now they are at minus one. So in the end, I think this is a good one to pick a road team. I like St. Louis on the road in a game going over the line. So there you have it. Those are the six games for Major League Baseball for April 24th. Happy betting, and we'll see you next time.